If you missed the first two videos in this series, I'll put the links to those videos in the description. This first one is a Google Arts and Culture experiment called What Came First? In this game, you're given two choices of cultural moments in time. You choose which one was chronologically before the other. You score more points the faster you play. Three wrong choices and the game is over. It shouldn't be too difficult for y'all to beat the score of 470. Let me know how you do. Jurassic Systems is a fun site that makes reference to a scene from the 1993 film Jurassic Park. In the scene, Ray Arnold, played by Samuel L. Jackson, attempts to hack into Dennis Nedry's computer. I won't spoil the surprise for you, just type access followed by another word three separate times. I'll leave the rest of this for you to discover on your own. Failblog is an oldie but goodie that's been around a long time. Updated daily, the site highlights disastrous mishaps, general stupidity, and other epic fails across the web. Examples of what you'll find on here include interesting social media posts, along with photos and videos that are quite bizarre. Find the Invisible Cow is a silly game that's a lot like Marco Polo. The goal is to use audio clues to find the invisible cow. You'll know you're getting closer when the audio gets louder. Moo. After five times successfully finding the cow, you'll be able to find a goat. The game will continue to give you new animals to find as you continue playing. The Evolution of Trust is a cool game that will challenge your ability to trust your opponent. You and an AI-controlled player will both choose whether to cooperate or steal coins as you put them into a machine. Working together, you'll generate coins. However, if you steal, then you'll take coins from your other player's bank. Weird or Confusing is an interesting website to go to that will show you crazy items that are actually available to buy on Amazon. For example, you can get a tortilla blanket that you can wrap yourself in like a giant burrito. They have a coloring book of farting animals. There's a fanny pack you can put your belongings in that looks like a real stomach. Also, if you love bacon, you can get bandages that look like slices of bacon. Weglot Like Magic is a mini game created for the website builder Webflow with a partnership with Weglot, which is a service to help make websites multilingual. In this game, users find the meaning of words displayed in different languages on the screen using a flashlight that will give you the clues. There's a limited amount of time and you'll be scored, so go quickly. These days, using a strong password is important. Using the word password or 123456 are examples of weak passwords you should never use. On the passive aggressive password machine, you enter a password to get honest and funny feedback regarding the strength of your password. As they describe it, imagine your in-laws are helping you with a password. This is what they'd say. If you get to the point where it says it's pretty strong, I guess, it means the password you entered is as good as it gets. Also available on Webflow, which I mentioned earlier, Asteroids Clone is as the name suggests, similar to the classic arcade game Asteroids. To play it is simple. Just point and click to destroy the asteroids that are attacking your space station. When it gets hit, the game is over. It's not as easy as it looks. Next up is Arbitrary Awards. You may already be aware that many companies pay for their awards to make their company and products look better. Top rated this, best in class that, and so on. Ask yourself, is it legit? 
likely not. On this site, you can gift yourself or your company with an award. Just simply type in your name or company. If you don't like this award, you can click here to get a new award. When you're happy with the award shown, you can print it out to proudly display it wherever you want. Talk to Books is yet another experimental site from Google. They claim you can browse passages from books using experimental AI. Simply ask a question and its search engine will look for book quotes to give you answers to your questions. Here's an example. How high can people jump? And here are the answers. This is also a good way to get book recommendations. Pixel Thoughts is a 60 second meditation tool to help clear your mind of what's bothering you to help you focus better. In the box, enter what is bothering you. And when you're done with that, click on Done. Thanks for watching. Links to the websites mentioned are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. What fun websites do you go to on a regular basis? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest fun websites videos and other tech-related stuff.